This is Modern Homesteading. Insulating layer top. So if you tend to get cold, if you heat up the core of your body, the, your extremities will also get warmer. So for me, a vest is a fabulous way to keep warm. Um, I've had this vest, I use it for running, I use it all the time, and it's also nice because if I need to carry it with me, I can throw it on Jack, it'll fit him, it might be a little bit long, but it's good to use that. Um, a thin fleece layer, very warm, again, the zip neck collar. Um, if you don't own any fleece, or even if you do, wool is a fantastic way to go. I think I got this for $3 at the Goodwill, Jack. Another $3 at the Goodwill, he gets to wear wool. Um, if it gets really cold, I'll wear down underneath my shell. Um, so a down vest or a thin down jacket. Again, look on the clearance racks or in the kids department. Okay, for my insulating layer, uh, there's one fabric, the new product out, it's been out for 10 years or so, but is Windstopper fabric. And it makes uh, garments that would uh, actually more insulated than they should be for their weight and their thickness. And what it does is it's a breathable product that also stops all wind from the outside, but it will still let sweat perspiration out. I really like the stuff. Again, everything I have is going to have a tight neck on it with a zipper because I want to be able to control that. If I'm mountain biking and I get hot and I'm climbing, I can open this up, open my base layer, get some air in there, cool my body down. But when you're descending, you can simply zip this back up and then retain that heat. So I really like Windstopper products. I have it in my vests and shirts and hats. How, and ni how nice do I think it is? Well, this is, I always find this in her closet. <laughs> I don't have any Windstopper, so I'm always <laughs> trying to get a little. Uh, insulating layer for me, if it's going to be cold, or typically, unless I'm in a, if I'm not in real windy areas, it's going to be just a traditional fleece, something that's really lofty. Again, I want something with that zipper, zip neck, long sleeve. And REI is such a good brand for, for, the, for the money. Uh, you don't get the flare and flash that you get with um, maybe with Arc'teryx or Mountain Hardware or North Face or Marmot. You don't get the really nice tailored cuts, but you just get a good quality product that they stand behind. You can take back the stuff from there if you had problems with the zipper 10 years down the road and they'll take care of you on it. So it's always a great value and it's just something you can really rely on. So REI is good for that. Um, if it's really cold, uh, on top of my fleece, I'm going to go with a wind stopper type of a vest. These are one of my favorite things. Why I like a vest so well is that I still have a range of mobility. And as Mrs. Ranglistar said, if you keep your core warm, where your heart and everything is, it will go out to your extremities and keep your hands and feet warm. So it's really important. So I hate lack of mobility. I hate a big poofy coat and too, too much thickness. It just drives me crazy. So a vest is perfect for that. You get extra protection on your collar. Up here it zips up and a range of motion. If it's really, really cold, I'm going to replace that with a down vest. Really nice, pound for pound, it's awesome. Um, they weigh nothing, you can pack them in anything. So if you think it's going to be cold, stuff them in a pack and you'll have them and you'll be thankful. Final layer, shell layer. So to start with on the, the bottom, um, you want to make sure they're waterproof, that they're windproof, that they'll do what you need to do. Today's uh, material is really fantastic. Um, Breath breathable. They're really breathable, and if they're not breathing enough, you've got these, oftentimes you can get full length zips or even bottom zips just to get some air in there if you're hot. The bottom zips are really nice for getting boots on and off so you don't have to take your shoes off. Um, these have built in gaiters, which is another consideration. That way you don't get snow up your up into your pants. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have those, you can get other gaiters. I've had these probably, I want to say about 19 years. You can see they're kind of worn out, but they last a long time. And this is another good company, Outdoor Research, OR. Yeah. Uh, some of the very best stuff. When I was on patrol, we can patrol all the guys that worked there a long time. That's the equipment that they use. It was just the most durable. Right. And it's pricey, but it lasts forever. Um, the different coats I have here, um, this is my old coat. It's great. The hood fits over the helmet. It's got pit zips in case you got, get hot. Again, it's Gore-Tex, waterproof, it's fantastic. Um, I had a gift certificate for another coat and so I got this one. It's a soft shell and it moves with my body a little bit more. Um, you'll also notice in the zippers, these are uh, waterproof zippers. Stormproof zippers. Stormproof zippers so that the water won't get through. You can through. see that the zippers seal uh, after you close them versus the traditional ones which can be open like that which get a lot of water in. This 
uh, these soft shells are relatively a new uh, reason. Why are why do you like it better? Um, I just like it moves with my body more. My other coat was fantastic, but it's a little bit stiffer and crinklier and and bulky. A little bit bulkier, yeah. This is softer, and I I do like it better. These these soft shells are really nice. Now they didn't used to be waterproof when they first came out. Now they are, and they're breathable, and they're just more tailored. They fit tighter, and they're just and they're stretchy. They're really nice. Yeah. And one other thing I might recommend is make sure try the hood on. Make sure it fits over your helmet and. Also, it's nice if it's adjustable so that you can draw it clothes in bad weather and open it up when it's not. For my shell, i uh, go a couple different directions. Typically, in most conditions, I'm going to go with a Gore-Tex style pant. All the same features that Mrs. Rankinstar talked about. Full leg zips for ventilation, good pockets that zip, uh, storm proofing, breathable waterproof. I want pockets for different things. Um, lightweight, very lightweight, that's important to me. You can just roll these up and, and really um, really go to town. Uh, if it's really extreme, what we wore on patrol most of the time was a bib, a bib pant. The advantage of that is it keeps your, your back warm. And if you're in the snow or rolling around the snow or falling a lot, it really keeps you drier and it's m much more warmer. And it's nice to have a kangaroo pocket for all your gear and kit and things. So again, same features, full leg zips, uh, Gore-Tex waterproof, breathable. Uh, these are really, really good for cold. As far as an upper for a shell, um, unless the weather's really inclement, I'm going to also elect for a soft shell. I don't like hoods very well, and I prefer not to have them flopping behind me, so this is nice, but this is not going to be a waterproof item. This is going to be when it's cold and clear. It's not uh, storm-proofed, but uh, a great, great jacket. Flexible, warm, windproof, and, and, not, uh, and warm. I think I said warm twice. A shell. This is kind of a hybrid uh, between a soft and a, and a regular traditional shell. Again, this is an extreme weather coat. Storm uh, zippers cut low in the back so it covers you if you're on a chairlift. A hood that will fit a helmet. Pit zips for ventilation on the side. And this is, has a stretchy material sewn in and all the, all the joints that move all across the back. So it is flexible. So it has a nice tailored fit to it, but it flexes and moves. You don't feel really restricted. But this is what I'm gonna wear uh, when it's extremely cold. So this is in case you're really cold. So maybe sitting at a sporting event or after you're done and you wanna get warm. This, these are super insulated loft coats. We actually, when we go to get the mail, we put these on because it can get pretty, pretty cold. These are the big, uh, the 700 series North Face down jackets. And this is not gonna be waterproof. It's yeah. gonna be way too hot if you're gonna be active uh, skiing or thing like that. This is for sitting. Right. A sporty, going to a sporting event or you just want to have something in the car that you can throw on. Um, super, super warm. You don't have to move to keep yourself warm, but, but too warm for activity. That's right.